Good evening, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. We welcome you to our Twilight Talks on the Psalms. Tonight we are in Psalm 85. Tyler, if you'll read that. Lord, you have been favorable to your land. You have brought back the captivity of Jacob. You've forgiven the iniquity of your people. You have covered all their sins, Selah. You have taken away all your wrath. You have turned away from the fierce you have turned from the fierceness of your anger. Restore us, O God of our salvation, and cause your anger toward us to cease. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints, but let them not turn back to folly. Surely his salvation is near to those who fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yes, the Lord will give what is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him, and shall make his footsteps our pathway. All right. And so, uh, this psalm, do uh, you have some thoughts on it, Tyler, before I give? Other than the kissing stuff. Ha, ha, ha. So as you're looking at this psalm, uh, what's expressed here is something that can happen whether to a family, a person, a church, uh, a community, or that community is a city, a county, a state, a nation, whatever. That there are those times where uh, you wonder about God's love and uh, if God is ever going to be done being upset. And some people say, well, God doesn't get upset anymore since he sent Jesus. Well, okay. Does the Father get upset? I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure God's still not cool with a million children being aborted every year. I'm pretty sure that the Lord probably ain't cool with, I don't know, human trafficking. Yeah, that's that's probably not, it's probably not 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 what uh, the Lord is expecting. I'm pretty sure that the Father is not enthused at all with people that name the name of His Son and then teach a plan, teach a way to come to the Father. That is not what the son taught. Because that means his son died and now people are preaching and teaching in the name of the son something that's not what the son said. And people are trusting that they'll get to the father by not obeying what the son said, which is what the father said. So are there things? Yeah, there's things about which we can justly say, yeah. I can see where God is less than enthused. Or he might have some anger that burns hot. But what's the key, as we see in this passage, Tyler, to turning away the hot, the hot or the, the the fiery anger of the Lord? It almost seems like the answer is repentance. And explain what repentance is, Tyler. Repentance is not only turning away from what you did that was wrong, but making an active change to move towards what is right. Okay. <clears throat> so for those of you, Grogu says, "Hey, I'm going to repent yeah. of walking yeah. toward the camera." And so now he walks toward Tyler. Well, technically, he's repented of walking toward the camera. But if he says, I'm going to walk toward the bookshelves behind Brian. Well, now that requires a turn of 180 degrees. Lord bless one church, Tyler, one time. I asked someone, I said, what is repentance? They said, it's a 360 degree change. And I said, you mean 180, right? And someone went, while they were sitting there, yeah, I mean 180. Yes. But we, I understood their point. Their point was, you know, a complete total change. Um, Not a complete total turnaround back where you started. <laughs> you know, 
but that is the point. If we, if we would have the love and the blessing of God on our lives, there's some stuff we've just got to knock off. It's, you know, I could, I could tell you a lot of different, but there's some stuff you just got to knock that stuff off, period. And, uh, and if your nation's in trouble, while it's great to pray for your nation, um, and I'm going to say this and whoever catches it, catches it. You know what? If you're not going to tell people what they need to do to repent, your prayers are kind of a waste. If you're not going to sow the seed of the gospel by your words back into the culture, don't don't trust that the people you work with know anything about God. Don't trust that the friends that you go to baseball games with, to, with your kids, know anything about God or His Word. And you say, well, they go to church. That doesn't mean they're hearing the truth of God. You can pray for them all day long, but if you're not going to sow the Word, the truth of Christ into their life. That's like a farmer going out and praying for a crop and he ain't planted any seed. There's nothing there for God to bless. And that's your part. So, anything you want to add, brother? No, sir. All right, with that, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we bid you good evening. We hope to see you on Sunday at church. Well, tell them that. We hope to see you this Sunday at church, either at Blake Butler Church of Christ in Lake Butler, Florida, either on the live stream or in person at 930 for our Bible class and then at 1030 for our worship services. All right. Appreciate you.